These kids are the Y of the Jordan YMCA. Hi, I'm Thomas. By 3 o'clock, the teen lounge is buzzing. 11-year-old Thomas and the rest of the young members are greeted by familiar faces. I know a lot of staff members. That yeah? Is, yeah, a lot. I, do you guys, do you talk to them a lot? Yeah, I, Thomas, I talk to them really every day. Really why we're here, why all the staff are here, is just to be able to be a, a great part of the community for these kids and have a safe and supportive atmosphere for them to show up to every day. After school alliance numbers show kids in after school programs perform better on standardized tests and are less likely to drop out of high school. The Department of Justice says they're also less likely to get in trouble. Juvenile violence peaks in after school hours. You're almost afraid to let your kids ride their bike around the neighborhood now. Thomas Bronau Sr. says not having after school supervision for a straight A student isn't an option. It's a good peace of mind for me and his mom to know while we're at work still and when he's out of school he's here. Um, in a safe environment and uh, that he's well taken care of. The National Crime Prevention Council says after school programs help kids resist drugs and alcohol and increase survival skills. Youth leaders here tell us they do that by building connections. I just see so much hope and joy in, in young people and I just want them to to live into that, you know, and to become who I think God wants them to become. <laughs> Thomas has been a Y kid for five years and thinks every kid should be. They can't go straight home. They can come here, have fun, play in the room. If they love playing basketball, they can go to the gym, play basketball, and it's just a safe place to go. Ebony Monet, RTV6.